Now here you can see a vacuum motor installed and this is the one for that I like to use with the MIDI system when I'm in parades and I'm going to be playing it for five or six hours at a time with no pause at all. The reason I have two vacuums is when you're on a uh, the music roll, when the music roll rewinds, it has to shut off the vacuum so the music won't play backwards as the roll rewinds. So as a result, of course, then that means the vacuum is uh, stopped at the vacuum motor. There's a little bypass so it won't overheat. But uh, I find that after four or five hours, it gets pretty darn hot. So uh, if I'm going to play it by rolls, that's fine, you know. Uh, but uh, like I say, when I'm just playing it with the MIDI, this is the super vacuum to use. So in a second, I'll uh, install the other one. And the only difference is this one only needs that gray tube hooked to it. And up in top, you'll see there's two more tubes. Uh, this one here is from the, uh, from the uh, uh, spool frame. And it tells the vacuum to turn off the vacuum to the reader. And this is the wind supply to the rewind control on the, va on the uh, spool frame. Okay, so I'll uh, pause now and I'll put the other vacuum in and we'll play some music on the roll. Okay, thank you. Now I've installed the vacuum motor for to use normally with the player uh, uh, music roll. Um, now, you, and you hook, what you do is you have to plug in the 12 volt system for the keyframe and of course you unplug the old vacuum which is here, the other one that's right there, and plug in this newer one. And you notice I've marked everything with good instructions and where each of the tube goes it's listed so you just have to match them up. Now on the keyframe when you're playing it with uh, the spool frame, you actually have to make sure the tracker bar is covered over. Otherwise, it will read both <laughs> the music roll and the, uh, the MIDI system. And often I've used, I've let this here go so people can see the music roll going past, and yet it's actually playing off the MIDI because I have a lot of great songs on here that are maybe more modern than the old style A rolls. To open this door, and I've marked it, you just left it straight up and then out, and then off it comes. And as you can see, I've put a piece of tape underneath over the tracker bar so that it doesn't accidentally read or the paper roll come off and everything go haywire. Because when you're in a parade or at a picnic for people, you don't want any problems. So I just tape it right off. I'll take that off now and we'll play some music. Now when you're going to play it with the uh, spool frame, again I've uh, plugged in the um, uh, electric system for the spool frame and the new vacuum here. This is a vacuum control for how much pressure you need and you don't need a lot. The less you can use it, then the, it doesn't get as hot of course. And again we just turn this on and you see the spool frame starts automatically. <laughs> All your tools are here for doing the different uh, adjustments for the... This is your... Uh, tracker bar adjustment for back and forth. You can see this is the play and rewind is automatic. 